They came almost out of nowhere, says Christy Wolf of her migraines, lasting 30 minutes twice a day. And they were excruciating. I would have to sit down on the floor with my head between my legs and cry. That's actually really cool. Seen in this home video, Christy was 25 at the time, married to Adam, mother of a two-year-old. She blamed the headaches on caffeine until she passed out and Adam called 911. Emergency surgery relieved the pain. Then Providence neurosurgeon, Dr. Pankaj Gore, removed the tumor. We thought that it would be benign. It wasn't. Brain cancer is described in grades. Hers was diagnosed as grade four, the worst. The couple tried to remain calm as they heard the news. When we hung up, I, I think I may have just looked him in the eyes like, help me. Adam began researching and learned his wife had 17 months to live. I tried to carry that I tried to carry that myself because I wanted her to, to keep focus on the treatment. Moving to be near family in Houston, Christy was prepared for another surgery. But oncologists there instead ordered radiation and chemotherapy. They said Dr. Gore had done a very good job. Cancer is a sea of uncertainty. Cancer is uncharted territory. Luckily, it wasn't uncharted territory for Providence. After a year of chemo, brain scans in 2010 repeatedly showed her stable, no change. Not satisfied, Christy asked what that meant. She was told, we haven't seen cancer in your brain in months. I went home that day with the biggest smile on my face and I just was laughing at myself for doubting because all this time I had a miracle and I didn't even know it. One prayer had been answered, but another had not yet. And we're going to... Um you know, have, have faith that there's, you know, a, a bigger plan. This big? The Providence Cancer Center is working on human trials of a vaccine to help the immune system eliminate brain cancer. But that right there is what makes the difference. And even though I never got the vaccine, I'm, I'm thankful that I stand here today not needing it. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.